Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. I am Junglo, the owner of a Junglo Cage Fighting Series. Number three is going down, March 26th. Today we have Christian Espinosa, officially signed. We're competing on our upcoming card as a professional fighter, March 26th in the heart of San Francisco, Keysar Pavilion. Now, Christian Espinosa, let's introduce you to all the MMA fight fans out there. Who you are, where you're coming from, and you haven't been fighting for four years and making a nice comeback. Let's talk. <laughs> all right. Well, first of all, thank you, Zhang Long, for having me. It's good to be back. Always yep. a pleasure fighting on your show. Awesome. Uh, yeah, it's been four years since my last fight. I've been training for 10 years. Uh, I decided to take, take a little break, but, you know, after four years, there's a lot of motivation and build up to come back. And there's no reason to compete if I don't believe in myself that I could compete in the professional level. And I know I can bring it, so here I am back again. Now, every time I have you fighting on my event, you're one of the most exciting young men that are out there. And I have to brought it up, right? A Bellator featherweight champion, AJ McKee, in his entire fighting career, the only person that he ever lost to, it's right here, Christian Espinosa. Now, if anyone watch out there, you don't know, now you know. So AJ McKee lost to this man at one at one point. The only guy ever lost to. So now this only man he ever lost to from Bellator champion. Now he is Christian Espinosa back in action March 26. Uh, I have to ask you, what you thought when you fought AJ way back in the days? Uh, I got a lucky punch in. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, he's a good fighter. Uh, it was a pleasure fighting him. I know he was a tough opponent. Uh, and he's doing big things now, and I'm happy for him. And, you know, I believe I can do big things too. That's why, that's the reason I'm back here. And I you, I show people when you fought it, Yeah, when you fought AJ, you fought him in the 145, right? It was, I believe, 135. 135? Yeah. No, wait. I think 145. 145. 145. AJ's always fighting 145. Yeah. And you knock him out cold. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, if AJ ever watching this interview, true is true. People don't know, but well, now you know. You're the only person to ever stop him, you know, before he uh, doing big things, become a superstar in the Bellator featherweight division. Um, now, I know you're fighting 135 pounds this mm -hmm. upcoming fight, and you fought at 145 as an amateur. You fought at 125 as a professional. What do you see your future after uh, this fight? I see myself staying at this weight class. 135 is a good fit for me. Um, I used to cut down easily to 125, but I got a little bigger over the years, and I feel like my speed and strength are there for 135. Um, definitely a little bit too small for 145. I see. Well, all the 135 division, um, make sure everyone keep your eyes on this upcoming guy right here. He's not really up and comer, but you've been around the block for a long time, and. Um, now, you originally on this upcoming fight card fighting Jordan Vasquez, and he's due to injury, um, you know, have to pull out of this fight. And now, uh, Ulysses Molina also supposed to fight DJ Navarro, and DJ Navarro also due to injury has to pull out. So end up put you and Ulysses put a little matchup. And ideally in the perfect world, um, DJ Navarro wants to fight Ulysses on the main card. An ideal world, if you come out of this fight clean, that don't have much injuries, uh, I would love to put that fight back together, you against Jordan Velasquez. So um, now, on this upcoming card, um, Ulysses Molina is actually start fighting as an amateur when you stop fighting. <laughs> so he is a, definitely a newbie in the town. Now, how do you prepare for a guy like him, young, up and comer, hungry, how do you prepare for him? Yeah, I know he's gonna come into this fight hungry. He's He's young, he's had a few fights, and you know, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit older, it takes a little bit more time to recover and heal, but I think I still got the speed and strength to match up with him. Now, how old are you now, Christian? I'm 31. Well, yeah, I've been doing this for 10 years. And you look at a lot of MMA fighter in UFC, in Bellator, all the world-class promotions, usually people don't even get, get their prime until they hit 30s. So I won't say you older, <laughs> you're just older than you listen. Older than him, yeah. Right, but you sure. definitely like mentally, physically, pretty much is gonna be on your prime. It's now or never to make something happen. So um, how do you see this fight going down? Like you know, if you're watching Ulysses fight, he's a stand-up guy, never touch the ground. Every fighter's always people trying to take him to the ground. He's gonna stand up and trade. So 
what's your thought on coming to the fight? Do you think about taking him to the ground, or are you going to stand with him and then trade with him? Uh, there's never really a game plan going into the fight. I'm ready to take the fight anywhere. Um, I have seen a few of his fights. He's a good mm -hmm. striker. He looks like he does have a little bit of a wrestling background too. Mm -hmm. um, but you know, I train for everything. I train for boxing, I train for wrestling, I train for jiu-jitsu. Wherever the fight goes, I'll be ready. What do you prefer? Of course I prefer to strike and try to go for the knockout. I always want to put an entertain entertaining fight for the fans. Well, here's a knockout artist, knockout AJ McKee, once again. So uh, that's what's awesome. So hopefully you listeners watching this fight, you know what you're against it. I know you do, but uh, this is definitely the fight. The young up and come and test yourself and this OG is back in the game. Definitely gonna be all the MMA fight fans out there. It's definitely a treat because you want some knockout. Here we go. It's uh, definitely gonna be a, 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 a lot of trading. If people don't understand too much about grappling wrestling, this is type of fight. You don't wanna miss it because somebody's gonna drop or take some punches on his face. Now, um, is there anything due to you during the whole pandemic, stopping you training, jobs, whatnot, what did that pandemic do to you? Uh, so, I would have fought earlier if it wasn't for the pandemic, so that's why it's been four years. Uh, in the meantime, I've, I've just been working. I recently got married to my longtime girlfriend, shout out to Ashley. Congratulations. <laughs> right now I'm working two jobs as a registered nurse. And uh, well, you're making a bank. <laughs> <laughs> you're making a bank. <laughs> so but I just can't get enough of um, getting in the cage. So this is just I'm a different. One more time. You got that urge, right? Got that itch right here. Yeah, I'm stubborn. I can't stay away from here. So now, <laughs> does is there any 135 pound fighter out there that you have eyes on? It? Honestly, I'm I'm ready to fight anyone that's put in front of me. I feel like I could uh, match well and hold my ground against any 135 in the Bay Area. That's pretty good. Well, let's see how this fight play out. I'm hoping Jordan Vasquez healed up fast after this one. The next fight card is going to be May 28th. Uh, do you, are you, if you come out clean, no injury, are you looking to go back in the cage May 28th? We'll see. I want to take it one fight at a time. That's good. That's a nice conservative thought. One fight at a time, and uh, I know you have a hungry young up and comer in front of you. Yeah. Gotta put them away before move on to the next target. So, how do you prepare for Ulysses on this upcoming fight? Like, I know you haven't fought for four years. Mm -hmm. What do you do for your conditioning? What do you do for your cardio to prepare for this upcoming fight? Uh, the core of my training is always gonna be there. I'm always gonna trust my team, silent fight team, all my coaches to prepare me and put me in a position to win the fight. Uh, we're just adding a little bit more things to our game plan. Um, that's of course gonna be kept a secret, but a lot more strength and conditioning, uh, a little bit more grappling. Uh, we're gonna be more dynamic with our striking come, come this fight. Do you ever worry about like uh, <clears throat> having a little ring rust because you haven't fought for four years? No, I don't believe in ring rust. No. That's good. Very well confident. Can't wait to watch this upcoming fight. Now, uh, if people wanna get a hold of you to buy tickets, come watching you fight, support you, how can people contact you? You can uh, contact me on my Instagram. My Instagram is Christian underscore Espinosa135. You could also hit up Combat Fitness, Rapicons Martial Arts in Vallejo on Sonoma Boulevard. I have their phone number here too. Call <laughs> them at 707-642-3762. Get your tickets there. You could also just hit us up, see if you wanna, uh, you know, come train some mixed martial, mixed martial arts with Kaji Kembo over there in Vallejo. Well, that's one of the OG martial art uh, 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 academy in Vallejo. So uh, Rocky has been around for a long time. His dad has also been around for a long time. You know, very old, to, old school <clears throat> Kaji Campbell karate. So plus a lot of good mixed martial art programs out there. Making, making sure you guys in Vallejo area, go check them out. Rappacorn, Asylum, Combat Fitness, all combined together. So uh, make sure you guys don't miss it. Now, um, do you have any special loved ones, training partner, coaches, uh, supporters that you want to shout out to from this uh, from this fight? Just shout out to all my family and friends. I know you've been with me uh, for this long 10 years. I know it's been up and down the last few years, uh, but I'm ready for the show and you know, I'm gonna make everyone proud. Shout out to my sponsors, Marina Encore Dental in American Canyon and 3C Construction. That's pretty good, plus as a nurse, they be saving people's lives all day, you know. Uh, 
Now, through this COVID, do you serve a lot of people who have COVID? Uh, fortunately, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not in the COVID unit, so I'm, I'm fortunate to stay away from them. But, yeah, so uh, that's, a, that's a pretty crazy shit. Right now, the world is kind of crazy, so hope people out there have a beautiful, wonderful day and safe journey. Um, it's, it's crazy out there, and you know, jobs, people change careers, you know, fuck domestic violence and other big things uh, out there. You know, I was talking to a couple PD of my, a, a good PD friends of mine, and they're telling me like domestic violence is definitely a big issue. I'm hoping people out there can solve their problem and, uh, you know, stay fighting on your sprouts and no good, you know, fist fight in the house is no good. Yeah. Stay, cut that shit off, cut that shit off, buddy. And so, uh, over everyone out there to make it a big, uh, make a good day. Now, um, if your opponent, Ulysses Molina, watching this upcoming interview, what do you have to say to him? Uh, let's bring it. I, I already know we have potential to be five tonight, so let's just bring it. Any little prediction that you want to share? No prediction. You want to score for the win? AJ McKee. <laughs> <laughs> what? You never know. You never know, right? Here we go. So please subscribe my YouTube channel, guys. Give me some love and support. This event is a live stream pay per view. So if you cannot make it to the event, making sure you guys order your live stream pay per view from my website, dragonhousemma.com. Um, here we go. The event after March 26th is May 28th. The one after in Cal Palace, it's August 20th. Big, huge stack card. URCC back into the United States. And the last show of the year is November 12th. Uh, make sure you guys stay tuned. All the fighters want to get on the car, secure yourself a spot. Make sure you DM me. And uh, I am Jonglo signing out. And here we go. We have Christian Espinosa. Good job, brother. Thank you. Thanks for having me. All right.